Yo, 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 what's going on with you people? What's going down? Jedi's Halo is back, and I'm here with some new game play. <laughs> nah, real talk. It's triangle strategy. As you can see, I have it highlighted playing on my Switch. We about to get into it. Let's hop into it, baby. On my Nintendo profile. <laughs> But how are we doing, people? How are we doing on this beautiful Friday evening? Got off work. And I'm just like, man, let, let me go pick up this game. I've been waiting on it. Played the demo. The demo was great. The thing I didn't like about it was just so much dialogue. So much. And, of course, our favorite company, <sighs> Square Enix. Thank you. And Ardink. Thank you. Unreal Engine. Thank you to all companies that were involved. Cryware. Thank you. Look at this game, okay? I play Octopath, but I didn't start, um, what do you call it, streaming, okay, at that time. I wasn't streaming when I was playing Octopath. But nonetheless, I had to think about it like, uh, did I stream Octopath? Was I playing at the time or streaming at the same time when I was playing it? Either or, I bought this game. I bought this because of Octopath, and you know, I do love some RPGs, not all RPGs, but I love some RPGs, you know, I play Fire Emblem, I play, ooh, I've been playing Fire Emblem since the Game Boy, I believe that was Advance, yeah, the Game Boy Advance joint, where you had the three um, characters, the main lead characters, I forget their name, either or, we about to get into this joint. Uh, from what I was told and what I looked up, they said that any of the demo gameplay save that you have, it'll be added to this. All right. So we're going to go ahead. Um, since there's a lot of, you know, dialogue and, you know, I'm, I am into, you know, this type of game. And I see with this difficulty, they have very easy. Wow. Uh, it's recommended for those who are not comfortable with the tactical games or players who want to enjoy the story without getting stuck. Oh, wow. And I was looking over some reviews as well, you know, after reading this, you know, they saying you don't want to get stuck at certain points. I wonder. OK, it says you can change it later. That's what's up. That's what's up. But I, I, I looked at some reviews and just found out some stuff, you know, that there are a lot of allies you can gather in this game. Let's read this. Easy, a mode recommended for those new to tactical games or players who prefer a focus on the story. A mode recommended for those who have played tactical games before who are looking to take on challenging battles. And a mode recommended for tactical game experts or players who wish to immerse themselves in the thrill battle. Now, typically, I just play on normal. Um, I play on normal. And, you know, just looking through a lot of, you know, some of the stuff that I was going through with this game, you know, you just find out that, you know, of course, it's story based driven, um, decision based uh, driven with their with their uh, decision. I forget what they specifically call it, but they have, you know, that the system where your decisions do matter. So you have to pay attention to detail. Um I'm 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 going to go ahead and we're going to start on normal. If I have to change it, I'll change it. It is what it is. But I'm already seeing that this game is going to take me some time to play, but let's get into it and see what's good. Of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. The kingdom of Glenbrook, through which runs the mighty Norzelia River, bringing flourishing trade. Oh, look at the, the sprites. Of that water. A land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzant, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt is central to life. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles, and before long, 
the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. The Norzelia Consortium is formed, a neutral organization that oversees fair trade of iron and salt. Finally, peace came to the realm. Thirty years pass. Now, a new bond is set to be formed between the Grand Duchy of Esfrost and House Wolffort of Glenbrook, whose power in the kingdom is second only to that of the royal family itself. Let's get some um let's get the auto joint going. Good morning. Morning. Congratulations, my lord. The future of Wolford is looking brighter than ever. Today's the day, is it not? We're all ready for the big moment. Thank you, everyone. Young Master, Lord Serenoa. So, you were here after all. Ah, Benedict. It would seem word has reached the people already. You can thank Eridor for that. He couldn't refrain from blabbing the news to anyone who would listen. I'll have a talk with him after. This is a momentous day. Not merely for our domain, but for all of Glenbrook. I do not think it possible to keep it a secret. This is well and true, my lord. But you must consider your betrothed's lineage. I'm well aware of the situation, Benedict. I cannot say for sure what repercussions this may have. What I do know is that the people rejoice for us and harbor hope for the future. As the future Lord of House Wolfort, I must rise to the occasion. Fine resolve, my lord. As House Steward, I will do all in my power to assist. Thank you, Benedict. It is heartening to have the support of my father's right-hand man. Shall we head to the port then, my lord? So soon? I had thought we would have more time. The river's waters have risen with the heavy rainfall earlier this week. And given the wind, I think it likely that Esfrost's ship will arrive ahead of schedule. You never cease to amaze. Very well then, let us be on our way. Okay, so... Let's see, selecting event markers on the world map will advance the story. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This is similar to a fire emblem. So there are two types, main and sub. If main events are crucial to the plot, while sub events are entirely optional, but will disappear from the map as the story progresses. Selecting event markers on the world map will advance the story. There are two, oh, right. Dear. So the roster inventory, war chronicle, and system have been added to the main menu. Press the X button to open it. You can view your units, prepare for battle, adjust various game settings, and more additional features will be unlocked as the story progresses. 
auto save feature. See, there's only one auto slave slot. Main uh huh, manual save. Uh huh, uh huh. Create additional save data files anytime by selecting system save from the menu. Oh, you cannot save normally during battle. Wow. Okay, that's 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 pretty different in a sense. Um, okay. Quick save data is created at regular intervals. You can manually create quick save data by selecting system quick save. Quick save data will be deleted once loaded. Ah. Ah, see the asterisk there. It'll be deleted once loaded. Interesting. So as I always say in these video games, save often, okay? Save often, in which I'll be doing at every point you did. I'll be forgetting. I'm thinking I'm playing my Xbox. I'm hitting the B button where the A button is. But let's go and see what's on this map. I want to zoom out, zoom out, zoom, zoom, zoom. So it's the only thing. Okay, so. An a frosty warship arrives at the wolf fort harbor where a woman with the rose colored hair and her attendant disembark let's check that out this is going to be exciting i'm just not too thrilled about all the dialogue not at all Thank you for the escort. You are free to go. But Lady Frederica, there is no one here to receive you. He will be along shortly, no doubt. If I have heard true, he is not the type to keep a lady waiting. By your leave, then. We wish you everlasting happiness, my lady. Thank you. I shall work hard, both for my new home and for my motherland. Please let brother, the Archduke, know that. As you command, my lady. We leave the rest to you, Gila. I shan't let you down. Glenbrook at last. Finally, we can take a moment of respite from our long journey. That said, it would seem we've arrived ahead of schedule. I much prefer it to being late. This is a momentous day for Esfrost, and for the entire realm. We cannot afford to make a bad first impression. I agree. Which is why we cannot have you looking so tense. Why don't we go for a bit of a stroll? A fine idea. After all, this may be the last time in a while that I am free to do as I please. Most are not inclined to grant liberty to one of Roselle's heritage, such as me. You brought that pendant with you? Of course. It is the only memento I have of my mother. <laughs> Thank you kindly, little lady. Letting a whole boatload of guards go back home was a stroke of genius. We heard tell you'd be here, and we wanted to be the ones to welcome you. The winds of fortune are blowing today, aren't they, Pa? Brigands! Stand back, Frederica. I shan't let them have you. See, I'm wondering, are we about to get into a battle right now, or... Okay, so this was just dialogue, but it seems as though we're about to get into a battle. 
So I see this is how it happens. They start off with, you know, dialogue, conversation. And then as you've seen the units that, which are us in blue, we, uh, we approach the red units and it's, let's see, battle time right at that point. So they said hit X to look at the roster. Let's check out who we got. So level one, they said le recommended level is two. Okay, so they're at recruit levels. One star. Let me see what's the details like. So unit detail screen show your unit stats and abilities. Uh, you can also press X to equip assess a weave. That's what's up. So I kind of seen this stuff in the demos. Pretty, I'm pretty familiar with it. Um, TP is usually your uh, what is it called? Like, uh, I guess you could say like magic points or whatnot. Um, but usually, you look at the bottom left hand corner under the tactician title of our character Benedict, and you see the three diamonds, right? Um, you use these in congruent to your abilities, right? So Raging Beast costs two. You use two out of the three, and then you only gain one diamond per turn, uh, which is the TP. So let's see. Speed. What I'm, what I was told is speed is everything in this game. If you have high speed, um, you have more movement when you're moving around. Um, you know, from space to space, including, of course, your movement will be high as well. But yeah. Oh, I see. They tell you when you're learning, which is cool. And what's pretty dope is that they tell you what you're going to learn, you know, before you learn. And um, this is this is kind of cool you know some games they, they won't even tell you you'll just it'll just pop up and, and you'll be like oh bulwark oh birds of prey oh now okay cool delay strike yeah he had all of these in a demo so that's what's up that's what's up inventory i was gonna say these hp recovery joints definitely will come in handy So system, let's go ahead and give it a save. We got 10. All right, we got 10 slots. And we can return to the title from there. That's what's up, that's what's up. Let's go ahead and get into it. Waste no more time. What do you intend to do with us? Make you our little hostages, is all. And wring every last coin out of the duchy and house Wolfort. What's with that pink hair, though? Ya Rosellen? And that lady looks like she's from Hyzant. Did we go after the wrong boat? Impossible! The ship was full of Esprosti soldiers. Enough! I am without a doubt. Have you bandits no shame? Attacking two innocent women? And just who in the hell are you? Okay, so we'll see. Let's see, our three gu major guiding convictions prevail unity, morality, and liberty. These take the form of invisible parameters that are influenced by the choices you make throughout the game. Your decisions will shape Serenoia's uh, convictions as well as influence which companions may choose to join his cause. Interesting. So our decisions are going to shape for this, what you call it, who will join us. So let's see, who, who are you exactly? A band of common brigands? From the looks of it, you need to know who... 
Surrender now, we can resolve this peacefully. You two bear striking resemblance. Might you be father and daughter? Hmm. I mean, I gotta be real to you know who I am. You feel me? Let's go ahead and hit, pick this one. You need to know who. Surrender now, and we can resolve this peacefully. You did. Do you even know who you're talking to, boy? <laughs> we don't do anything peacefully. Got that right. But if you surrender now, we'll spare your miserable lives. It appears they're not keen to listen. Indeed. They don't strike me as the type to be swayed by logic. Quit your whimpering and just accept you're done for. Once Travis, his daughter Trish, and their mighty crew set their sights on you, <laughs> ain't nothing you can do. Ah, enough of this! You'll regret ruining our plan! Two arms, my lord. Stand back for both of you. No, we fight together. I brought this upon us through my indiscretion. Pray allow me to help. My lady. I am a teacher of the arcane arts, and Frederica is a most apt pupil. I can assure you we shan't be a burden. Then I ask for your support from the back lines. And you shall have it. Why didn't you tell me you were having such fun? I would have joined you sooner. What are you doing here? Let us talk later. Now, I believe we have some lawless ruffians to rouse. Okay, so it's like a pincer attack. So it said Benedict's aptitudes in battle, unwavering support with a strategic edge, aids comrades with various support abilities, alters the turn order of his allies. Ooh wee, ooh wee. I like that. I like that. And Federica's aptitude in battle of pyromancers who fire ignites chaos on the battlefield, cast sweeping spells to assail multiple enemies, can use fire spells to set a flammable squares ablaze. I like that. I like that. I've heard about this. Same thing with C. Gila's aptitude in battle. Brings balance to the battlefield with a powerful healing magic. Specializing in HP recovery magic, heal spells. Healing spells are even more effective on allies in mortal danger. So it's more of a, I guess, a thing to let their health go down low. And then they'll gain more health when they're in danger. On the brink of death. That's what I get from that. All right, beset by the brigands. All right. I hope you adults are ready to learn a hard lesson. You'll need more than numbers to beat us. Maybe. Their confidence is admirable, at least. Orders, my lord? Give them no quarter. We cannot allow brigands to have the run of Woolforth. Just who are these people, anyway? Now, Benedict. Oh, they giving me, um, okay. So in battle position and turn order are two keys to victory. Okay, I know all of this, so. Think you got what it takes to best my family? Ha! Fools, the lot of you. My turn. Give him a fight, man. Distinguish yourself in battle, and you receive your due reward. Mm hmm. We do not take kindly to thievery here in Wolfhorn. You will pay for your crimes. Forward. Okay. We definitely gonna go all in. Hold on, let me look at this uh, order. Okay, so the daughter goes next. 
And then my two units will go next. So it's two and two. I see. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and attack him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So with this, we can hope that it'll delay this turn. What about the regular attack? And this will use one TP. Let's go ahead and use it. Wait your turn. Let me see. I want his back towards there. You think you're all high and mighty, huh? Well, we'll show you we're no slouches ourselves. <laughs> we're just trying to make a living here. Yeah. Our land has no place for those who disregard the law. The law. I see a path to victory. All right, yeah. Let me see. That's a zoom in, zoom out. Okay, I see. This reminds me of uh, this guy too, in which I did play. Go check that game play out. So hold on, time out. So they'll have four people. Ooh. Let me see. So how many turns for three turns? I should do it on him. Since he's low, I'm gonna use it on him. Much appreciated. I won't lose. This will leave you. Let's see what about the double thrust? My lance strikes true. Did you see that? Shall we make it a contest, my friend? Let us see who brings down more of these ruffians. I think not. Whatever would I tell your father if harm were to befall you? These are no ordinary men. Calm and clear-headed. I shall do what I can. Okay, so she does the healing. Um, she can't attack, but let me see. What's her stats though? Strength is four, eight. No, no, that's because he has the boost. Three. Okay. I'm gonna leave her here. I don't want to, but I will. Yeah. It's good to know that she has, um, in that range, what you call it, it does, has, what you call it, the, the thing has range. We must defend ourselves and allow me. Hmm. Will this affect our ally, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, 
she has 58. Let's see if it'll do any damage. To okay, it won't. Good. space at a time. Interesting. See, they struck with a physical attack and any allies on the opposite side of the enemy will automatically perform a follow-up attack. A mark will appear if attacking the selected target will trigger a follow-up attack. For the honor of House Wolfort. He's busy up here. I'm gonna just let him come down little by little. Be gone. Point me at him. <laughs> I see a path to victory. Hmm. I should attack him actually. Let me show you what I've learned. Yeah, and I'm only going to do it because I can do this right here. Please heed my call. What? Indeed. See, fallen enemy. Okay, they dropped the spoils in the allies' turn on the square. Uh huh. Rare occasion the enemies will drop small boxes containing exquisite spoils. Allies do not need to pick up these items, they are automatically acquired. So they can't be used, cannot be used the moment they are acquired, you must emerge to ah. Okay. Damn it. Oh, they trying to work on him. Hope you're ready. Ooh. I shall do what I can. Backwards toss. Very nice. Let's see how much damage does she do. Oh, just four? Let me see your health. are turning it's not over yet let me see how much health 21 brace yourself defeat is not an option Look at his health. 
Let's do the lace strike. I'll make this quick. I struck through. Just two damage. Wow. I see a path to victory. You've left yourself open. That hit the mark. I will end this. She has fifty eight. Strap him. Wow, she only does that much damage. Interesting. Oh man, she ran out of TP. Right, right, right. Well, get to it. <laughs> She doesn't have anything, so let's see, Benedict. Allow me. My thanks. This won't be easy. All right, now you. Try this for the honor of House Wolford. Okay. My strategy is superior. And not quite. I shall try my level best. Too slow. Ha ha. Point me at him. You're gonna get your daddy. That works, huh? I fight for peace. See, she should have enough TP. Travis, that's what we're trying to do. Here, that hit the mark. My strategy yeah. is superior. Charge. Double thrusts. You don't stand a chance. No mercy on the battlefield. All right. Can you take him out the game, though, Benedict? Your you can. Is weak. You've left yourself <laughs> open. That hit the mark. For the future, the leaves will must grow. Damn it all! This can't be. The 
some squizzy spores. Yes, sir. Make way. <laughs> Let me show you what I've learned. Hey, you can get the bulls out. You can get it all you want. There, you smack her with the book. For a better world. My turn. It ends here. I shirk from no danger. Excellent. Forward. All right, let's see. They leveled up. The daughter's been going. Oh, sheesh. Ah, that hit the mark. You've made a grave mistake. Let me heal your wounds. Too slow. Had to help you out with some EXP. I see a path to victory. And my boy Benedict. Pincer attack. Now. Hello, me. Yeah, that hurt. It's gonna continue to hurt too. Almost. Ooh. Let me show you what okay, I Okay, made or miss. Oh, word, y'all don't, um, wow, didn't do the pincer lose. attack, interesting. Shall we begin? Man, you can just heal him. Let me see who he healing around here. Be at ease. I can keep fighting. For the honor of House Wolfort. Here. <laughs> Follow my lead. That hurt. I see a path to victory. Ow. Too slow. Ow. You'll rue this day, you bastards! Alright, cool. So let's see, we got some HP recovery pellets and a large HP recovery pellet and some iron. We got some kudos. So what's up? And some coin. Lovely. bunch of no good thieves at least they know when they're in over their heads I would have preferred to apprehend them and see them atone for their crimes but uh, so be it your bride to be is safe isn't that what matters my bride to be my sincerest apologies I had no idea we were being trailed by bandits. But where are my manners? I am Frederica of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. Dang. I have come to fulfill our agreement. He thought he was about to get some play. I am honored to join you in marriage and to call House Walfort my new home. The honor and pleasure is mine, Lady Frederica. Pray forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. 
To think you'd fight at each other's side in battle before exchanging your vows. Though, I dare say that it bodes well for Wolford that its new lord and lady makes such a fine team. Your Highness! Here, here you are. Why, the entire Kingsguard has been scouring the land for you. Did you sneak out of the castle again, Roland? When I heard my best friend's betrothed was arriving in Glenbrook, I simply couldn't miss the occasion. While we appreciate the sentiment, perhaps you should have said something to the king. <laughs> I'm the least of my dear father's concern. Though I suspect Huet will think otherwise. I suppose I'd best be on my way back. Rest easy, my fair lady Frederica. You are in good hands here. I look forward to celebrating your union. Till we meet again. His ring bore the insignia of Glenbrook's royal family. Could that have been... Prince Roland, King Regna's younger son. So a lord and a prince drove off a band of brigands by their own hand. What a fascinating nation we'd come to, Frederica. This is Chila, my tutor and attendant. Famed is the martial prowess of the Wolfords. It was an honor to be able to witness it firsthand. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sarah Noah of House Wolfort. And this is Benedict, trusted steward of my family. It is my honor to serve Lord Saranoa in any and all matters. On behalf of House Wolfort, I welcome you to our domain. You may think this is an odd question, my lord, but I ask it nonetheless. What does the color of my hair mean to you? your courage more noteworthy than your appearance you held your own out there on the battlefield you flatter me my lord I apologize if I was out of line far from it house Wolfert values the strength and courage of one and all I have lived a sheltered life in S frost but I promise I will do all in my power to make myself useful that makes two of us Fortunately, there is plenty of time for us to learn together. Yes, together. Lady Frederica, everyone awaits. Allow us to escort you back to Castle Wolfort. Thank you, Benedict. It would be my honor. Alright, this is cool. We got Frederica and Gila on the squad now, on the roster. Now we can expand our squad so we can have better battles. Of course, they were always going to join. It was faded. Sarah Noah of Glenbrook's House Wolford and Frederica of Esfrost will unite in marriage to strengthen the ties between their two nations. In doing so, the newfound allies hope to hold their own in the face of Hyzant's salt monopoly, which continues even now, decades after the war. Who could have known that this was but a prelude to an uprising that would engulf all of Lorzelia in the flames of war?
So let's see what's up with this. It said the encampment. You can select the encampment from the main menu to access the Warfare Army camp. Additional features will be unlocked as the story progresses. So we have a side story here. Let's check this out. The White Home Castle. At White Home Castle, the home of Glenbrook's royal family, the preparations begin for a guard ceremony to commemorate a new age of harmony between the three nations. Let's check that out. did my fool brother run off to? I explicitly told him I wanted him here when we welcome our guests. It would seem Prince Roland shrugged off the King's Guard and went on a little excursion, as he's wont to do. I swear it's as if the boy exists to drive us mad. He is an embarrassment to our family. No matter. I will see to matters myself. Your honored guests have arrived, Your Highness. I see new faces among them. I trust you can tell me more, Claris. But of course, Your Highness. The imposing looking woman over there is General Avlora of Esfrost. Her prowess in battle is such that some say she is the second coming of Groma Ironfist, hero of the Salt Iron War. If the rumors of her strength are true, she is more likely to emerge victorious than any but the Dawn Spear himself. Over there is Minister Exham Marshall of the Holy State of Hyzant. He is the newest appointee to the Saintly Seven, and has been placed in charge of the military and diplomatic affairs. It is a rise to prominence nigh unheard of for one so young. A general of the Grand Duchy and Hyzant's young hope. I imagine this will not be the last I hear of them. I know this man. Sorcely End of Hyzant, yes? Just so, my lord. As you doubtless know, he is the Holy State's Minister of Salt. A prestigious position, though it is said he feels threatened by Minister Exham of late. So even the great monolith that is the Holy State is not immune to internal strife. Thank you, Clarus. I can see they were not wrong to tap you to lead the consortium. As the officially appointed bookmaker for the tournament, it would not do for me to be ignorant of the combatants. Your Highness, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica. Brother and sister of the Archduke have arrived. They will be joining the festivities in Archduke Gustadolf's stead. Word has it that Lord Thallus has been appointed Prime Minister, which would make him the second most influential individual in all of Esfrost. Archduke Gustadolf is said to prize freedom more than anything. It would seem that includes the freedom to put his own family above all. With all due respect, Your Highness, the decisions of another nation are their own. Do take care not to say anything that might offend our new allies. You need not remind me, Patriot. I know there is little to be gained from quarreling with Esfrost's ruling family. Honored guests, I am Franny, Crown Prince of Glenbrook. It is an honor to welcome you to our kingdom in my father's stead. I can assure you we have spared no effort in preparing for tomorrow's festivities. Let us ring in this new age of alliance together. 
Though I imagine some may be too occupied awing us with their prowess in the tourney to enjoy the revelry themselves. Allow me to escort you to Whiteholm Castle, where the ceremony will take place, whenever you're ready. Prince Roland, finally you return. At ease, you went. I trust all was well in my absence. Well enough. Another visit to the Woolfort Domain, was it? Indeed, on minor business. My apologies for leaving unannounced. Apologies indeed. You know full well that I am under strict orders from your father to accompany you on any excursions outside the castle. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Besides, no one would lose any sleep if something happened to me. Father and friend are used to that. Even Cordelia would get along perfectly fine without her brother. Well, I would not. Or have you forgotten that you are my one and only sworn leech? You act. Forgive me, truly. It won't happen again. I should hope not. So it is true that you plan to fight an attorney on the morrow. And alongside House Wolfort, no less. How did you... His Grace told me. When he commanded me to keep you out of trouble. So father knew all along. And so I have decided to fight at your side. You won't be slipping away on my watch this time. As you wish. Well, that was one of their famous... <laughs> dialogues where you just sit there you listen to the story as it's progressing through different um side quests and whatnot which yeah for some it'll get boring because it's a lot to go through and you want to get straight to the battle like in fire emblem you pretty much have some dialogue and then they dive right into the battle it's not a lot of talking which i like it like that this game is different though, but we're going to continue on with Castle Warfort. I'm going to route the bandit Serenoa and his re Ooh. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and get into this. Reunited and it feels so good. Welcome back, the both of you. Were there any troubles while we were out? None to speak of, aside from Eridor here. But what else is new? Out with it, Benedict! I heard you were beset by brigands. Is the young lord safe? Lower your voice. Must you always shout so? Or can't you see that it was that big mouth of yours that invited trouble in the first place? Damn, so <laughs> th th this is funny. He made an outburst. Benedict came down. He came rushing down the stairs. As you can see, he has his fist up. And he's just like, bro, who in the hell do you think you are? Okay, what, bro? You need to lower your tone and watch what you say because that big mouth got you in trouble last time. Do you not have any manners? Now, what I'm looking at right now is just how beautiful the game is. The one thing I kind of wish that they have done was made the character faces with more detail with these sprites. Okay, the 3D sprites is great. I love it. I wish, they, wish their faces were more detailed. Let's get back into it, though. 
There is no cause for concern, Eridor. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. Mayhap not, my lord. But I've known you since you were knee-high to a... Uh, never you mind. <sighs> and this must be the young lord's bride-to-be. I am Frederica. It is a pleasure and honor to meet you all. And I am Gila, her attendant. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Allow me to introduce those in service of House Wolfort. This is Arador, Master at Arms and Commander of our military forces. You'll be the Lady of House Wolfort. No harm will befall you as long as I'm around. And this is Anna, my right hand. If you require anything, just say the word. They may not be of my blood, but they are my family just the same. And from this day on, they're your family as well. I am aware that in all of Glenbrook, House Wolfort is second only to the royal family in power and influence. I will do my best not to disappoint you. A joyous day this is! The little lord grew up and found himself the perfect bride! Nah, it brings a tear to my eye. His voice certainly does carry. Sorry, my lady, but you'll have to get used to it. <laughs> my lord, your father awaits you in his chambers. As for me, I must stay and discuss the preparations for tomorrow's festivities with Anna and Eridor. Lady Frederica, pray come with me. Father is expecting us. Cool, we got Eridor and our other companion joining us. This is pretty dope. So Anna's aptitude, she's okay. Anna is our assassin. She can, sh right, right, right. She could take two actions within the same turn. I was using her in the demo, which is pretty dope. And she can conceal herself. Ugh, so awesome. And Eridor, the sea shields allies with superb defense capabilities, draws the enemy attacks. Counterattacks when dealt a physical blow with the adjacent. In oh, come on. Some good abilities here. Some good abilities. As you are well aware, there are two events of utmost importance to be conducted before Lord Serenella and his bride are wed the ceremony to commemorate the joint mining venture. Still can't believe I'll be seeing the day when we break ground on a new mine right here in Glenbrook. And with the full support of Esfrost and Hyzant, no less. You can thank King Regnant for that. It was by his most wise and generous proposal that the three nations of Norzelia now strive toward a common goal. Needless to say, delegates from each nation will be joining in the festivities. From the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, Lord Dragan Esfrost, who is overseeing the technical side of the mining operations. The Holy State of Hyzant will be represented by Minister Lila Viscraft of the Saintly Seven. And our own Lord Simon will serve as Glenbrook's delegate and meet with the two before the ceremony. Yes? Quite so. After that, it will be House Wolfort's responsibility to see that our honored guests feel welcome. Anna, I would trust you safeguarding both Lord Dragan and Minister Lila. Consider it done. Then once that stuffy ceremony is over, we can get to the real highlight of the day. The tourney! Ah, my blood's already rushing. Just envisioning the greatest warriors from all the realm clashing swords. From Esfrost, the much-renowned general of Laura. And from Hyzant, Minister Exham Marshall. I have heard much of his prowess as well. Then, of course, there's our reigning victor, the pride of Glenbrook, 
Sir Maxwell the Dawnspear. Still, I wish him all the best of luck against their hosts. They'll need it to beat House Wolfort. On that matter, there are two things I should make clear. Prince Roland has expressed a desire to join the tourney as a member of House Wolfort's contingent. Why would the boy want to fight with us and not his own arms master? Apparently, he originally formally requested to do just that, but King Regna would not allow it. And so he came to the young lord in hopes of finding another way in. Well, it's more than welcome in my book. The royal family said we're free to put together our own contingent after all. I reckon his majesty would be beside himself with joy if we could deliver a beaten to Esfrost and Isaac. Doubtless so. Very well. I shall inform the prince that he is welcome in our ranks. Finally, there is the matter of Lord Simon's health. Indeed. Sadly, the lord of the house is in no condition to participate in the tourney. Barring some miracle, I anticipate that Lord Saranoa will have to fight in his lord father's stead. Lord Simon. I suppose age takes its toll on even the mightiest of men. So be it then. You can leave watching over the young lord and Prince Roland to me. Good. I remind you that while this is a joyous occasion, all of our attendees have their own reasons for coming. Let us not give them an opportunity to catch us unaware. All right, let's go ahead and get into the next joint. to you my betrothed the lady frederica a pleasure to meet you my lord i am frederica of house esfrost ho ho the pleasure is all mine were it not for the efforts of house wolfort the salt iron war would rage on still today I do not deserve the honor of joining your esteemed family, but I will endeavor to serve you all the same. <laughs> there is no need for such formalities, my girl. You are tired from your journey, I am sure. Pray rest easy tonight. Thank you, my lord. I believe that in any journey, the first step is the most important. Before we go forward together, I should like to know why you chose to welcome one of Roselle in blood, such as I. Oh, oh, I'd heard you were a strong-willed one. Pray forgive my insolence. Uh, and yet, I am set to marry into a mighty house of a foreign nation. I should like to know what you wish of me. ...that I might live up to your expectations. A most reasonable request. Both of you, listen well. Yes, Father. Your marriage was agreed upon by Glenbrook and S. Frost... ...that the ties between our two nations might be strengthened. ...to give us more leverage against Tizant, with their monopoly over salt. Precisely! With Glenbrook and Esfros consolidating their power... ...Tizant was left with little choice but to join the Alliance. And yet, while Lady Frederica is indeed the Archduke's sister... ...at the same time she is the daughter of a Rosellan concubine. 
and House Walford, for all our military prowess, is no more than a bannerman of the king. If the aim was to forge the strongest bond we could between our two nations... It would be far more appropriate for my sister, Lady Erica, to wed the Crown Prince of Glenbrook. Just so, yet neither nation chose that. And do you know why? So that if relations between our two countries were to take a turn for the worse... We could be cast away like pawns. Precisely. Such are the schemes of those who rule nations. I understand now. And yet, no matter how impure the intentions behind this arrangement may be, I will not bring dishonor to the Wolfport name. Well said, my son. If that is your decision, then... <gasps> Father! Lord Simon! I am an old man, and my health is not what it once was. For this reason and more, I have made my decision. As of this day, I abdicate my position as Lord of House Wolford. You will serve in my stead from tomorrow forth, my son. But, Father, I am not ready to... My decision is not made lightly. You have already shown me, with your words and your deeds, that you are more than ready. Think always about what your subjects need from you. Weigh your choices carefully, then take action. Do so, and I have no doubt you will make a great lord. And trust in Benedict. He shall serve you as well as he did. Thank you, Father. I will spare no effort that one day I may be as beloved by our people as you. Lady Frederica, your fate is not a simple one. There are many who would try to use the both of you as pawns in their own schemes. Even so, I hope that you will be there to support my son through it all as his wife but also as your own person. This is House Wolfort's entreaty and the wish of a father. Of course, my lord. It was my intention from the moment I boarded the ship. Beg pardon, my lord, but Lord Jagan and Minister Lilac have arrived. Very well. Presiding over tonight's banquet will be my final duty as Lord of the House. Tomorrow's ceremony will mark the beginning of yours, my son. And after that will be your wedding. Rest well tonight, both of you, for busy days lie ahead. <laughs> Once again, it's been about an hour and 14 minutes and it's been mostly dialogue. Okay, I'll probably play like about 20, 25 minutes worth of actual battle. And now we get to a point in the game where we can save. Now, of course, it's all subjective to, you know, how fast you get through the actual battle and if you're skipping through any other dialogue as well. And looking through whatever else, right? You know, maybe you're looking through the encampment and some parts of the menu and whatnot. But man, this is a lot. This is a lot. But let's continue on.
30 years after the salt iron raged across Norzelia, a vein of precious minerals was unearthed in the kingdom of Glenbrook. From east to west, joy swept the land. United at last in common cause, the kingdom of Glenbrook, the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, and the Holy State of Hyzant endeavored to wrest this bounty from the earth, with each nation providing expertise and resources. This uneasy alliance between once bitter enemies will herald a new era of tranquility in this long and battled realm. One after another, dignitaries from each nation arrive in Glenbrook to solidify this accord and toast to its success, the first step on the road to peace. Among those who would forge this road is Sarah Noah Wolfford, Inheriting the title of Lord Wolfford from his father, Simon, he must decide what foundation he would lay for this new era. to Castle Wolford, Minister Lila. Allow me to express my gratitude to the Holy State. Were it not for your nation's generous efforts, this venture would never have come to fruition. You are too kind, Lord Simon. You too have served an invaluable role in this. Though I must admit, the news of the union between your son and Lady Frederica came as quite the surprise. None in Hyzant considered that a bannerman of Glenbrook would join with the ruling family of Esfrost. I hear that Lady Frederica is the Archduke's half-sister. I must ask, how did this arrangement come to be? Oh, your curiosity is only natural. This union was promised during the war, an arrangement made with the previous Archduke. Truth be told, I am surprised one as well-informed as yourself did not already know. And this is your son? As I recall. Sarah Noah Wilford, at your service, Minister. And I am Frederica Esfrost. My son still has much to learn, but I believe this marriage will herald a bright future for us all. For today, I intend to step down and leave House Wolfort in Sarah Noah's capable hands. You're abdicating your position? Surprising news comes in pairs, I see. Nonetheless, I am happy for you both. I imagine the lords and ladies at tonight's banquet will take great interest in the new Lord Wolfort, as will I. <laughs> <laughs> Go easy on the boy, my lady. I hear that young Lord Dragan of Esfrost shall also be in attendance? Indeed. He has been appointed to oversee operations at the Grand Norzellian Mines. I understand his star in Esfrost has seen a meteoric rise. Good. I would like to hear more of this new explosive substance he means to use to blast the tunnels. As a fellow scholar of sorts, if in a different field, I am always curious to learn how great discoveries are made. He should have arrived by now. Has anyone seen him? Dragan's gone to see the city. He was halfway there before the gangplank landed on the docks. Ah, he is your cousin, yes. I see we share an innate curiosity for new places. The banquet will begin soon. I shall seek him out and escort him there. Very good. Though I will host tonight's festivities, I want you to act as if you're already Lord of the House. Our guests are the most esteemed personages of their respective nations. Take care not to cause offense. Of course, Father.
saying? So Dracon can be anywhere. So we're going to take this opportunity to speak to this common folk. So in exploration, you can use the four. The game comprises multiple phases. In addition to the story, scene, and battles, there will be also an exploration phase. In this phase, you may move freely about areas to gather information from people around you, obtain items, review mechanisms, oh, oh, uh, and terrain features that may serve you in battle more. So these are the joints to use. Uh, B or R to dash. So you're in exploration phase and continue with story press to start or yeah, plus button. Now I, I remember playing this board. They don't have the um or oh, something here. Cool. What do you call it? The statue faces. They're not there. dig this people I am gonna stop right here I have more time to play this during this weekend uh, <laughs> I'm off for of work but go ahead if you enjoy this playthrough all right I have other playthrough series that you can go through go ahead and smash that like button subscribe to the channel follow the page it is Jedi's Halo here and I will be back until next time guys See you later.